Okay, so the first thing, looking at the integration, um, again, this comes from the Stanford math tournament. Um, again, the question's designed by uh, Stanford students for high school students. Now, of course, the high school students have to be taking calculus to do this problem over here. It's an integration problem. Uh, the first thing I notice about that, I, I do see reciprocals over there. All right, I see 4 minus x over x, x over 4 minus x. I do see it's a definite integral. I understand that it, looking at it, it's improper. And the reason it's improper is when you go towards um, 0, um, that's a division by 0. So what, what I'm going to just look at the domain of the problem over here. And the first thing I look at is, you know, 4 minus x. Let me get my pen out. So 4 minus x over x has to be greater than or equal to 0. And if you put this down over here, uh, again, looking at the, uh, the radicand, by the way, I'm going to say 0 and then 4. And then, you know, certainly test points out. A good point to test out would be 1. You plug it in. It's a positive number. That's good. I can't plug in 0 because I'm undefined, but 4 works. Now, if you go after 4 like 5, that's negative. If you go below 0 like minus 1, that would be negative. So that's the domain of the first guy. Let's do the next guy. Looks very similar, by the way. And what do you get over there? Let's take a look. It's got to be greater than or equal to 0. What do you do over here? Same thing. 0, 4. 0 works this time. Uh, plug a number in between, like 1. Play get 1, positive. Looks pretty good. After 4, don't shade 4. It's undefined there. And what do you get over there? Uh, let's see, 5 would give you a negative number. Below 0, like minus 1, that would give you a negative number. So I'm going to say that this um, integrand, looking at the intersection of those sets, two sets, is going to be defined on an interval from 0 up to 4. Don't touch 4. Don't touch 0 either. All right, so the reason it's improper is the 0 at the bottom. All right, now we'll come back to that later. I'll go to the whiteboard, uh, but that uh, is improper because of that 0 there. So I'm going to go to the whiteboard, and let me expand this out. And let me just um, make sure I got my pen out. I do. And let's do it. All right, I'll put this over here. 0 to 2. And then I get the root of 4. You get my notes out again. 4 minus x over x. And then I get uh, minus. It's another radical x and 4 minus x dx. And again, I have to stick on the interval between 0 and 4. Well, it's between 0 and 2, so I'm going to say between 0 and 2, which means this should be written as a limit problem. And I'll write this over here. The limit as a goes towards 0 from the right side, this is going to go from a to 2, and now we put this integrand again. Now, if you look at the Stanford... Um, uh, test. They do provide solutions, and they, they provide a variety of solutions. I'm going to say what I think is the most direct solution to the problem over here is probably just maybe pull those two um, terms together into one term. So I'm going to do some side work and see if this helps at all. And what do you see over here? Let me just write this down over here. It's going to be 4 minus x over root x minus root x over the root 4 minus x. I'm going to common denominator here. It doesn't look that bad. It looks like root x. And then you get over here 4 minus x. And then over here, it's really kind of easy. It's going to be 4 minus x and then minus x. And this turns out to be, let's take a look. You're going to get 4 minus 2x. And then you're going to get, let's see if I did that right, 4 minus 2x. And on the bottom, you're going, I'm going to pull those two radicals together. That's going to be 4x minus x squared, all right? So I'm going to take this thing and rewrite it. It's limit as a goes to 0 from the right side, a, 2, and this turns out to be 4 minus 2x dx, and on bottom you get the root, which is 4x minus x squared, all right? Now, what I noticed about this over here, it may, may be convenient, but I do notice the u substitute is going to work, by the way. So write this over here. I'll let u equal 4x minus x squared. And then what's du going to be equal to? du is going to be 4 minus 2x dx. Well, isn't that convenient? All right? 
So I'm going to do a little side work now. I'm going to try to get the antiderivative by writing this over here. It's going to be 1 du, and at the bottom it's going to be u to the 1 half power. Again, a little side work over here. This is side work. I'm going to say u to the minus 1 half du, and that would be, and again, just a little side work over here. Just try to get that antiderivative over there. Add 1 to it, it's u to the half. Divide by half, it's 2. So, and it's going to be a constant integration, by the way, but I'm not too worried about that over there. So I'm going to say, I, I think I know the antiderivative now. Limit as a goes to 0 from the right. And the antiderivative is going to be 2 root. Root of what? Well, what's u? 4x minus x squared. And the limits of integration are going to go from a to 2. All right. Well, let's write this down. And what do you mean by writing it down? I, I, I don't have room over here. i got to do this over here. And let's write this down. Limit as a goes towards your right side. Upper limit, that's easy. You're going to get 2. Uh, you can get 8 minus 4, which is 4. Boy, that's nice. Minus 2. And then you're going to get this over here. Um, you can get 4a minus a squared, all right? So the, the first guy is pretty easy to do, by the way. It's, you know, square root of 4 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. I want to be careful about the second one now. Limit, a goes to 0 from the right side, and this is going to be the root of, I'm going to factor an a out, and I get 4 minus a, all right? Now, granted, Someone says, I, I wonder, you're coming from the right of zero, all right? So what I want to do is just talk about it. And by the way, uh, the four is over here. I'm not too worried about the four. But you take any number between zero and four. I just want to make sure it's positive, by the way. Like you put one over there. And you're showing me a positive number. So it, it, this limit's defined, by the way. What's well, defined to be zero. So what do you get? Four minus two times zero, which is going to be four. And we are done. Thanks for paying attention.